Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Last week, there were tit-for-tat strikes between Pakistan and Iran. If I bring this image up from the BBC website, on the 16th of Jan, Iran hit this area here in Pakistan with drone and missile strikes. And Pakistan hit this area with JF-17 airstrikes in Iran. And you guys asked us to look at it. As far as I can see in real life, it's been patched up and I don't expect further strikes, fingers crossed. Uh, and so I thought, you know what, why don't we just go the whole hog and just duke it out and find out who really is the best. So today is the entire Iranian Air Force versus the entire Pakistan Air Force. So, overview, terrain. This is the south of Iran here, from which Iran will be operating, and this is UAE here, from which today Pakistan will be operating. It's pretty simple. I'm going to line the air forces up here, and here, press go, and make them fight with some added humans in for a bit of fun. First, let's look at Iran's air force. We've simulated this before, so this is our second go. Combat aircraft, Iran has 19 MiG-29s. In brackets, after that number, notice a smaller number. That's 50%. Today, we're scaling everything down to 50% because there's only so much we can run on one battle. They have 23 Su-24 fences and we're simulating 12. They have 17 MiG-21s and we're simulating 9. 46 F-5 and indigenous Heshers and we're simulating 23. They have 63 F-4 Phantoms, we're doing 32. 41 F-14As, we're doing 21. 12 Mirage F-1s, we're doing 6. In real life they have a total of 221 combat aircraft or fighter capable aircraft I should say and we're simulating about half of that 113. A big point here, and you guys pointed it out last time, is that Iran, yes, they have all these aircraft, but how many are actually operational and can fight? And how many that could fight have all their systems working? Well, that's a very good point, and you're probably right. A lot of these aircraft probably aren't fight worthy but I've got no information about which are and which aren't and how many so I'm just going to run the whole air force as it basically says in the wiki page and the same with the Pakistan and that moves us on to Pakistan I've never investigated Pakistan's air force before and I thought at the beginning this is why I actually accepted this view of request that it would be about even with Iran's and we'd have a roughly even fight and boy how wrong was I I really underestimated Pakistan they actually have a modern competent air force so combat aircraft they have 153 JF-17 Thunders it's a Pakistan China project and we're simulating 77 to split down 50 of those are block 1s, 62 of those are block 2As, 26 of those are block 2Bs, and 15 are the new AEs that are equipped block 3C type. Also, they have F-16, American F-16s, uh, 85 of them, we're simulating 43, a mixture of A, B, C and D. 37 are Block 15 modernised, 17 are F-16B Block 15 modernised, 9 are A Block 15 ADFs, we've got 4 B Block 15 ADFs, 12 are Block 52 plus, that's C, and 6 are D Block 52 plus, so a real mix there. They have 60 F7PGs, old interceptors from China. Uh, they are licensed-built MiG-21s, and we're simulating 30 of those. Now, that's already a pretty good fighting force, uh, but they also have 20 J-10CEs, uh, new Chinese fighters, modern, 135 Mirage 3s, 139 Mirage 5s. But at this point, I thought, ah, right, we've already got a massively overperforming air force as compared to Iran. So I've actually left out the J-10s and I've left out the nearly 300 Mirages because I'm pretty sure we're not going to need them. And even if we did, I'm pretty sure our server won't handle them anyway. So this lot I'm removing today. If Pakistan lose, I apologise, but from what I'm seeing so far, they're probably not going to lose. Absolute total in real life of these combat fighter bombers, 592. What a nice air force that is. Um, we're simulating 150 of them, so uh, still 33, 37, sorry, more than Iran today. They've also got AEW, unlike Iran. They have Chinese Russian ZDK 03s. They also have Swedish Saab 2000s. And that's the overview of what we're doing today. Let's have a look at the details for you detail boffins out there. Um, if you're not into details, then you can just skip to the battle, of course. Let's start with Iran. First, we have 31 F4, so half the number they have in real life. We're using an E model. Sorry about the terrible model. It will be updated in-game in a few weeks. And they have Sparrow M's 
and AIM-9M Sidewinders and some fuel tanks. Today, all AI is set to veteran. I usually set them to ace, but I forgot in this case, and it's too much work to go back. So everything is veteran, but it's equal on both sides, so it'll be fine. Uh, they're starting airborne because the base they would have to take off from is so far back, it would make them ineffective. So they're starting airborne. I've tried to balance it a bit like that. Uh, the Hesher's an F5 starting from this base. AIM-9 P5 equipped the best I can give them. Pretty much close to real life. Uh, we have a Keshem here. Will be Mirages. Very similar to what they have in real life. And their armament will be S530Fs and some Magic 1s. Next, they will have, actually starting airborne because this base has stopped working for some reason, the uh, MiG-29s, 10 of them, equipped as per real life with Adder 1s and uh, R-73 Archers. Up here again, starting in the air because the base has stopped working for some reason, they have MiG-21s with non-BVR R60M missiles, if I can get them working, there they are. And they'll have fences as well, which are not fighters at all, but they can defend themselves with close range uh, R60Ms again. Uh, where are we? What have we missed? Uh, F14s, 21A model with a Phoenix missile here, and AIM-7 Sparrow and AIM-9L. Finally, our humans. Uh, can respawn today and you can have either the MiG-29 as you saw before or the F-14A as you saw before. The other side of the Persian Gulf we have the selected chunk of Pakistan Air Force that we talked about. We have F-16s taking off from here. I've chosen a generic F-16C Block uh, 50 to represent them with AMRAAM C5 models plus an AIM-9X so six missiles uh, which is the most they can carry. Uh, what's that 43 of them i think 77 thunders again the mainstay of the pakistan air force four st10s i think chinese pl12 redesignated uh for pakistan and pl5 we'll have the j7s or the mig 21 same thing here i'm pretty sure i investigated and i couldn't find any bvr missiles carried on their j7s so we've gone for r60 m's again humans respawning here and they can have the F-16 or the Thunder, as we saw before. And they have an AWACS, so that's an advantage to the Blues, where Iran doesn't today. Uh, there's one thing about Pakistan. They seem to be getting the more modern next-generation air-to-air missile from China, the PL-15, or the exported, the dumbed-down version of it, PL-15E. I haven't actually found evidence that they're running it on their frontline fighters at the moment. Hence, I've left off the PL-15E. We do have it, obviously, in, in DCS, or uh, we've made a version of it. Uh, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference today anyway because of the overwhelming force of Pakistan. But let me know if you have real-life data about the use of the PL-15E. Obviously, they will be using it on their Block 3 Thunders and possibly their J-10C. Uh, but let me know what you think about that. Um, and that's it today, guys. Welcome in, viewers. Today's Pakistanis are Fire, Poosh, Saber, Dark, Iranians, Simba, Wardog, Fly, and Cannibal. That's it. It's going to be a giant, ridiculous fight. Simba, unpause. All right, viewers, let's start showing you some aircraft. It's going to be a while before any missiles are thrown. So, F5s and Heshers. Uh, we've got my humans on the red side, MiG-29s and Tomcat. Uh, we've got my Mirage F1s, MiG-29s. Like I said, I started them airborne because their base is uh, not working very well for some reason. MiG-21. I think I've even got the correct liveries today, which is a first. F-14. That wins the style contest for today. F4 and it's terrible old model. But it will perform like an F4. Uh, Pakistan, we have a whole bunch of F16s from America. The Thunder. Did somebody put their landing gear up while they were taxiing? Looks like. Don't do that, guys. That's what we're all. And the J7s. Yep, someone's lost a MiG-29. <laughs> Friggin' nerd. Ladies and gentlemen, my beloved humans! Never mind. Losses will happen, guys. Right. Wow. Uh, 
Simba Wimba and Fly have her taken off. Gone for the Tomcat today. Gonna chuck some giant telegraph poles at Pakistan guys today. And uh, let's check my Tomcats. Anytime you say Tomcats, you gotta yell at Tomcats. Right, sorry. Thundercats. Ho! Oh! Fire in this lovely new livery. So no, we may not win, but at least we look more sexy. We do. Sexy. Yeah, that's important. Uh, uh, internet sex points are the most important point. Fly. Yes, sir. See that thing at our uh, two o'clock that we were built to handle? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, Simba being cheeky. We like it. We like it a lot. Right, Tomcat's doing a big push. Cannonball going literally the wrong way, but I guess Cannonball. Tactical diversionary mm. circle. Mm. J7's out. Couldn't find a Pakistan livery for them, so they've gone in bare metal. Uh, we've got Wardog up in his MiG-29. Hesher's up. Kinda. It's not a BVR fighter, obviously. The only way it can survive against these BVR beyond visual range fighters is staying low, by which case it massively reduces the hostile missile ranges. And they're doing exactly that. Staying low, so those F-16s have to get within 10 miles to shoot them. Distance between fronts now of boop, 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 70 nautical miles, and this guy is all kinds of angry viewers. And these guys, viewers, are all kinds of sneaky... Tomcat, as cool as it is, viewers, is not very effective on today's battlefield against fighters. Why are you picking up any contacts? I try, but I don't see something. Distance between fronts, Do 40 you? miles. Yep. Heading 180. Human on fume. Human, first fight, viewers. AI following up the rear. I don't know, I have some of them. First missile out. Ooh, all the missiles out, I believe. Tomcats respond. Phoenix versus Amram, I know which I would take. Now, what's Fly gonna do? Look at them, going to space. Not sure what those Phoenixes were fired at, but they were fired at something. And they do appear to be, yeah, they're tracking. Fly trying to beat Amram's at 40,000 feet. Oh my goodness, I think he did it. Oh, he did it, he beat it kinematically, viewers. I think it was aided by the lag of the server, but you know what? If it's a dodge, it's a friggin' dodge. Like I said, the lag... Also, it, it was a range issue. But he's got himself awfully close to those F-16s viewers, and I don't think there's much hope for him. <laughs> this ends only one way for the fly machine. Fly, you should have diverted around them. What do you take him on for? Right up his bop bop. Got him in splash. Right, never mind. Simba, a bit more sensible. Gets away from the hail of uh, AIM-120s. Wardog coming in his MiG-29. It also has FOX-3 missiles, but they're massively outperformed by these AIM-120Cs. Which have a range of about 50 miles max. Oh, Simba's done a thing. 100%. Simpson space travel is out. No snapping wings off F-14 pilots. Four lovely big space shuttles out. They make themselves ready for re-entry. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what's going on here? Can we have our first Iranian down? Yeah, I said it Iranian. American pronunciation. Oh, no, I'll take that back. It's not. No, still, the only person killed is Fly and Simba's going to get surrounded. He's taking some arrows with him. Were, they were quicker than I thought, honestly. Simba dodges. Let's dodge four Amrams. That's pretty good. Because remember, those F-16s only have six missiles, viewers. And this guy's only got one left, so... That's actually a bloody good use of an aeroplane. Flies old... No, sorry, Simba space shuttles re-entering. Orbit, kinda. Now, Simba shenanigans have allowed the Heshers to get in. That's interesting. 
AI are coming in now. Simba's still running away. He's probably got the faster jet here, I'd imagine. And look, the Heshers have all got around these guys now. Problem is, these F-16s are very fast. Very fast aeroplanes. Chasing Simba back through the ranks of Heshers. Heshers are just so woefully equipped. Struggling to get a shot. Right, first aim, uh, 120 is out from AI. On. Uh, MiG-29. Oh, the boys have made it personal. They really want Simba down. He's still not down. But they've caught up. It can just accelerate much faster than that big, heavy Tomcat. And so they've caught him up. But look, the Heshers are now killing the humans. Simba dragged them into a Hesher net. And bang. Flash. Well, you guys are surrounded by Heshers now. Right, kills going on here. If you want to know what's going on, viewers, rather than listening to my dribbling drool, look at the scoreboard. That will tell you everything you need to know. Lots of them, amazing. Oh. Um, again, you'll see a few decent kills today, viewers, but it should be modelled pretty accurately still. Now, these Heshers should all be dead, but because of the stuff that was going on, they've actually managed to merge with the F-16s. That hugely nerfs the ability of the F-16. It's still a better dogfighter than a Hesher, but when you're in close, it's really is anyone's game. Pakistan have lost no, no one and have fired 24 missiles. Difficult to keep up now. Good evasion from that F-16. And Merge, he'll pull around and shoot him pretty easily. Six Iranians down, no Pakistanis down. Dark's got himself into a dogfight. Oh, and he's got no missiles. He's used them up on Tomcats. MiG-29 from AI and now into the fray. But they're taking on superior longer range missiles. But they shot an F... Oh, they shot three F-16s down. Where did that come from? Wow. MiG-29's showing their teeth. That's a Tomcat. But he's put his uh, telegraph poles out. And they are tracking. They can still be dangerous. F-16, target fixated. Dark's been chased down by Heshers and swarmed. Okay. Wow, five Pakistanis down. Did not see that. Telegraph poles coming in. Right, I hope they don't lose now. We're getting all kinds of trouble. Another F-16 down. War Dog's still alive in the middle of the Pakistan. Oh, um. Right, big slugfest going on. Heshers sucking down missiles. 16 Iranians down. Seven Pakistanis down. Hesher down. You will see lots of kills today, viewers. Also, the lag appears to be sorting itself out, which is nice. MiG-29's down. I mean, they're pretty good planes all in all, but still, they're not going to beat a, a relatively modern F-16 with better missiles. And uh, not being flown great, in my opinion. Oh, Tomcat in the face. Don's le visage, one might say. Oh, God, I got him again. I'm already dead. Uh, Sparrow out for the first time today. Oof. I'm a really old missile. ST-10 out, it's PL-12 from China, it's an export. Wow, 26 Iranians down, 9 Pakistanis down. Merges with these F-5s down here, and gunfight. F-16 evades. Some sweet dogfights over there, the F-16s are almost certainly going to win, but those F-5s, they can actually be pretty good. PL-12s tracking down MiG-21s, which aren't going to be much threat. Oh, a big barrage here of telegraph poles from some rear F-14s entering the fray. 26 Iranians down to 9. Pakistanis down. I've got an adder, a straight adder here. Oh, and he did not react to no help. It's very hard to operate in such a complex theatre as this viewers. It's obviously hugely unrealistic to have this World War I style battle. And you can never operate in it. The boys struggle because there's so many alerts from all of the missiles being fired in the battlefield pretty much. Everyone's efficiency degrades exponentially. 32 Iranians, 17 Pakistanis just got smashed. That's surprising. The telegraph poles are landing. That's what happened. Space shuttle re-entering. To Florida or wherever the hell they take off from. Oh, that's a thunder. Today's first thunder down. Oh no, a few thunders have gone down to telegraph poles. Do you see how it went straight down? That's what makes him so dangerous, viewers, because his defense systems don't see missiles coming down that steep. Right, bunch more guys. F-14s, as good as they are, are lumbering. Oh, I take that back. They evaded. No, they didn't. 100% didn't. PL-12s. 
about equivalent to an A120C. Look at all that warfare going into the sky. I mean, the Phoenix is being fired. They're all 50 years old. Would they either actually work in real life? No idea. Telegraph pole dropping down onto this guy. 35 Iranians down to 22 Pakistanis down. It's actually Iranians doing better than I thought. And, and more and more Tomcats are charging in. And poor old Poosh has got absolutely swarmed. He's out on his own on the west flank and his lovely painted thunder, but he is about to get 100% swarmed. More stuff going in. Smash! A kill with an aphid. Haven't seen one of those in a while. MiG-21 F-16 dogfight. That's only going to end one way. 40 Iranians down. A big batch of telegraph poles just swinging in from left field here. Everyone likes seeing a telegraph pole hit something. That's a thunder. Giant anti-bomber warhead. F-14 outrunning this AIM-120. Mark II plus capable. Just takes a while to get there. 46 Iranians down. 28 Pakistanis down. Oof. Another Tomcat down. They are just not equipped for this fight. F-16 showing us massive acceleration and out running a telegraph pole. Almost giant merge. Oh, the hole. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Everything has happened now. Just everything is happening. That's all you need to know. 52 Iranians down to 29 Pakistans. He's down. Even some fences are coming in. And this guy's doing a thing. You see? A thing? Boom. 59 Iranians down to 30. 30 Pakistanis down. Uh, telegraph pole launched into orbit. Swinging over. 61 Iranians down. I wish I could see all the kills, but there's just too much, I'm afraid, viewers. Too much cool, sexy boom boom time going on. That's important. Oh, another Tomcat. Oh, the Tomcats have been wiped out. One Tomcat left. Wow. I mean, they looked great and they did get some kills, but 50 year old radars firing 50 year old missiles chasing modern fighters. He says as a Pakistani F-16 gets smashed. This guy's getting proper smothered in beautiful, beautiful Pakistani gentlemen. And who wouldn't want that? Terrible model with F-14s. F-4s getting smashed completely outclassed by these modern Pakistani fighters. Again, huge old tech, even older than 50 years. Smash! F4 down, F4 down. 71 Iranians down. The Pakistani kill rate is accelerating now. The Tomcats are down. Oh, the last Tomcat missile just slammed into someone. F4 realizing how in trouble he is. Pakistan, a fire, 134 beyond visual range missiles, 23 within visual range missiles, reds. Iran have fired, Iran have fired an impressive 92 beyond visual range missiles and 18 within visual range missiles. Plus, there's probably been a few gun skills as well. Cost of both sides, two and a half billion with a B. Okay, this whole swathe of red has been taken down. Mirage is dribbling in now. It really is up to the phantoms now, and I really don't rate them. Old, old systems. Oh, that's a double kill. Huh. Why did a double kill? With telegraph poles. Oh yeah, telegraph poles. 16 and Jeff. Nice. His name was Jeff. His name was Jeff. Oh god, Simba. It's just too many of them for him. No. He was had five on his ta He's still alive! No, he's not. 100% not. Nope, I bailed. Uh, I didn't think the front line would push that close to me before I could get across yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's getting a bit... They're well over halfway now. They're 70% across across the gulf. I, I tried to push, but uh, they're intercepting me. Pakistan have to think about fuel viewers. Remember, all of these fighters carry very finite levels of fuel. And once they're out of fuel, their fighter is essentially out of the fight. As far as we care today, it's almost as good as killing a fighter. Pakistan do have to be a little bit careful. And we've seen fights lost by fuel before. But the kill rates are just insane against these old fighters. All model pretty well. Don't let the old polygons fool your viewers. Look at that swishy stuff. Pakistanis pouring into combat. So many fighters. Oh, so, uh, some are done drifting. You're going drifting. 
Because everyone's going drifting. Cannonball, are you following me? Yeah. Probably not I a good idea. You might know what you're doing. Um, about that, guys. Something, something, blind following blind. Huh. The phantoms have done terribly, guys. 90 Iranians down to 46 Pakistanis down. I I'm not sure a phantom's actually killed anything yet. I have these old Fox 1 missiles, viewers. You have to retain lock until it hits. It's a terrible missile by today's standard. And I can't even survive long enough to guide a friggin' missile in. Even getting outclassed by MiG-21s. Oh. They're now all, almost all the way to Iran. Again, fuel is a thing they need to think about. Look at how they're operating in a giant blob like this. DCS loves nothing more than operating in blob. And blob can actually be effective, not in real life, but in a sim, it has its uses. Oh, the, the fences have been intercepted and been shot. They're bombers, as per real life, but they will defend themselves if they're attacked. That's the best we can do in DCS. All the F-16s are up. Uh, Jeffs are still taking off. Almost all the Jeffs are up. All the MiG, in fact, basically all of Pakistan Air Force is up. And Iran is, well, uh, decimated. Is that a good word to say? I think probably decimated is the right word. Well, we called it, viewers. I really didn't think it would be this easy for them, though. It shows technology. Modern and modernized aircraft in Pakistan versus old, original OEM gear, more or less, from Iran. And if anything, we were, we were biasing towards Iran here because, um, like we said in real life, a lot of this probably isn't actually working. Just the nature of operating 50-year-old aircraft. Um, and it's great to see the sim doing its job. This is exactly the way it should have come out and no weird surprises, which is a nice war dog and absolutely overwhelmed by a human and dodged. Human on human action. My favorite type of action, as you all know by now. All the F4s are down. They achieved precisely zero. I mean, they look great. Only benefit of those F4s is it's probably run all of these blues here out of fuel. They've had to go, whatever that is, 200 and something miles and fight and they're probably out of fuel. I say that, but they're just charging on, so I guess I'll take that back. Fuel is modeled pretty realistically, I should say. We're gonna merge here. War Dog has merged with a guy, doesn't, probably doesn't know it, but he has. Oh, God, it's looking all over his pop pop. Uh, what's happened to my Tomcat? Hello, 16. Go oh, on, Tom, no, you're not dead, you're not dead. Goodbye, See it at the end. See it at the end. Yeah, teleport pole kill! Nice! Nice, got him. Yeah, are you still alive? No, you're 100% not alive, Fly. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, all they've done is anger Simba and he's sent four space shuttles out. Come on, let's see them hit. We need a retribution piece. Look at that yes. missile there. That missile there is twice as fast as those Phoenixes. And there is and precisely. Kev, yes? We all know. Don't make Simba angry. Oh, is, you can be still gonna fight from the grave because his missiles are going in. We have... I can't watch both. One down, two down, twin kill, and another gone active. Could be a triple kill from Simba, which is actually quite amazing. No, outrun, but two, it's not bad. Still, my human's not giving up, and there's still a few more AI taking off terribly inefficiently. I mean, really? That's how you'd operate in combat? Okay, then. That's a Mirage problem. Mirage about to get smashed down by PL-12s. Mm. Completely outclass an old 1970s fighter bomber versus a Jeff, possibly even a Block 3, brand new being delivered as we speak. Cannonball finally getting on top of someone. Giggity. It's an adder, but don't worry, it only goes about three miles and then runs out of steam. And then the rest of his honchos are about to come and find him, or are they? 107 Iranians down to 56 Pakistans down. Two to one kill ratio. I have that... a bit of fear I kill a cannonball if I do this, but... Ah, uh... uh, that's the least of cannonball's problems right now, trust me. He did get an adder out, though. Okay, let's give him telegraph poles. He got his man! So cannibal got his man. Well done. Roger, remember, they're pretty crap if you fire them from low altitude. When I say pretty crap, I mean possibly the worst missile in the world. As in, I could throw a used pair of my own pants further than those missiles at low level. 
and I'll do it if I have to. Well, all I can say is the Persian Gulf is now swarmed by beautiful, beautiful Pakistani gentlemen. Oh, this one's gone slow. He's out of fuel. Uh -huh. Finally, all the uh, thunders are airborne. Bingo. Right, fly. What are you up to? Let's see what used used pair of pants can really achieve. And it completely it missed. Like, it feels it like it's not even moving at all. No, it just didn't do anything. Uh -huh. Agent gentleman, uh, Phoenix. Range or page changing. Two, Fox one. Go on, fly. I just want to oh, see Reg get some face back now. Well done, Tomcat. Yeah, Fox one, buddy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um. Uh oh. You know what? You got to kill, fly. You got to kill. We're all happy. That's good enough at the moment. Simba has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all within 15 miles. Um, these SC-10s appear to be incredibly slippery missiles, viewers. Honestly, at how attitude, the Emra was more bred, actually. SC-10 I could dodge. Ah, how about that? Yeah. yeah. Some revades. He's bringing them back. This is the point where you're going to say, why didn't you model Sam's viewers? Uh, oh, oh, 29. Oh, 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 oh. His fly going to take off. Right, we're literally storming the Iranian bases now. Tandem take off from the boys. They're so excited, the they're probably fly. crashing to each other. Stand the ground, fly. I'll come to greet you. We Plan will live in surrender. Plan all you want, boys. You're already in a dogfight. You just don't know it yet. Oh, Simba did a thing. I wasn't looking. He chucked his space shuttles out at point blank range. Simba out. If you can respawn, do it, but you might not be able to because the base is getting swarmed as we speak now, guys. Fire down there, gonna make sure that there aren't any red on the map. You are literally gonna make sure there's no red on the map. Oh, God. Yeah, they're just gonna spawn camp. They're just gonna shoot you on the ground now, guys. Ha, huh, look. The Amram's gonna shoot a guy in his taxi. No, he's not. Well, uh, let them just finish these couple of mirages off uh, to the east, uh, taking a sweet time. Oh, yes, Dark apparently has no sympathy. Have you no heart, Dark? No. No, oh, right. Which one are you going for, Bart? Dark? No fuel, so whichever one I can get to first. I hope you get shot down, Dark. That would be a funny, uh -oh. funny kill. Yeah, there's one airborne now. Don't do that. Fuck, actually. There is indeed a fox too. Good shot from fire on the cover. Did he avoid it? He avoided it. Did he? Fire? Did he? Nope. Anyway, I think it was evaded. I don't think you can avoid a missile. Or maybe you can, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think, viewers. Oh, he didn't die. Well, that's what that's the problem of having a 22 pound warhead. You might as well throw a hand grenade at him. Huh, Flies somehow got airborne and into a dogfight. An extremely heavy, an 80,000 pound overweight Tomcat versus a stripped down, low fuel, nimble Thunder. Hmm. Gonna go for the Thunder. F 14 requires huge amounts of skill to fly. Uh, Jeff, not so much. Guns run. You got him. Smash his tail off, right? The mirages are done. Just wait until the Left boys. Down. Huh. How about that? Somehow they're fending their base off. Alright, I'll just throw more blues at you. Thank you, Simba. Ah, that was good. More beautiful Bakasani men coming in. Of course, the compressor stole. Why not? Huh. You stalled your compressor. Alright, fly, you're out. Damn it. Stay out. Simba and Cannibal. Hurry up yeah. and die and be very cheap funerals. Oh, they're just killing. No. Cannibal killed one. Simba's got himself into a dogfight with an F-16. Cannibal's going aggressive. He's chasing the Jeffs away. Oh, I think they're out of fuel. Obviously, Pakistan are one viewers. I'm just going to give the boys a little bit of fun. As they've just been smashed for the past hour. Okay. Yep. I must need to say it's very bad for your health if you have compressor stall and a missile on your tail. Both want to kill you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want either, to be honest. I'm glad we conquered this base because I need fuel. Oh yeah, sixteen dice cost no fuel. Uh -huh. Same. Same. Oh, it has run out of fuel. They run out of fuel. They will run out of fuel. They've gone up. Yeah. Well, it's a good time to run out of fuel, I suppose. Sim's going to finish that guy off. 
Uh, right, guys, obviously massive thwomping as we thought it was going to be, as my bad for underestimating the Pakistan Air Force. It is actually pretty good, to be honest. Anything from my pilots uh, do you want to let us know about? Um, we never surrendered, huh. but we got good. All right, let's never this fly well. big smoky things against the modern Air Force. Yeah, that's uh, I, I honestly oh, that's, that's really well done, guys. I honestly tried to get your AVEX, but no, the it's too hard. Is, too many guys, yeah. But the drafts and 16th just intercept me, yeah. But also so fast. Look, looking at those brilliant but lumbering Tomcats up there and how fast an F-16 accelerates next to it, nearly twice as fast, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, just, just over the straight, you don't get the right climb angle to get her on speed, so you just are random, so, yeah. Yeah, but it's, no, well done, uh, and humans, you did a great, um, yeah, you did better than I would have done in there, so good job. Yeah, Fine. newer stuff tends to cost more, huh? I'm letting Cannibal shoot a guy. Need to say it's beautiful to see all that livery is flying around and killing me. You like the livery is killing you? Wow. <laughs> somehow, somehow. Honestly, I would more like to kill them, but uh, I need to say Saber uh, and me traded a good one. Jeff's double tagging um, the boys, look. Yeah. I'm double tagging you. Oh, Simba being a cheeky SOB. Yeah, he needs to keep the title of. Can he people's champ this ship. guy? Can he people's champ this guy? It's the last one without fuel. With fuel, words. Words are hard, and you know they're hard. Can you get SA to find out where he Look at his little head wiggling around. I'm wiggling my head around trying to find him. I know where they are. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No, tell me the F-14's not gonna win. Tell me it's not. It got sex points. It did get yeah. Yeah, Jeff, almost zero sex points. F-14. 11 out of 10. No. Well. Wow. Oh, I missed. He's not going down that easy. He made a rookie error, but he's not going down that easy. Don't worry, put a plant load of chaff out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look, look, look who's arriving. Another blue. Yeah, Captain Telegraph Boom. Oh, as we thought it was about to end, another blue. Appears from nowhere, and that's definitely the last one. In fact, fire's on his way as well. It's now human versus human. This is the battle that just keeps on giving. You kill him, or you just go. Has Simba got any alone. missiles? Yeah, that one not dragging. No. Telegraph pole said no. It's guns or nothing. Uh, Simba made a mistake. Survived. And he's not compressor stalled. This is the old A model, actually. It's a pretty nasty thing to fly. I'd rather not be in there. Timber has a new problem. Yeah. Teamwork's going to come into play now. Right. One Winchester F-14A versus two F-16s. I'm going to say probably... Ah! Dodges the missile. Friggin' unbelievable. Oh, fire that missiles! It's going to be a gun's finish. If somebody puts one of them, yeah. I'm That's like all my gone. bullets, too. Right. One Winchester F-16. F guns, guns, guns. If you get locked in a dogfight, gun stock fight with an F-14, it's incredibly capable, viewers. Yeah, if someone knows how to do stuff 14, it does things people yeah, don't imagine. It's difficult, though. I mean, we have been the group people who especially fly 14 and they do magic. Well, this is a very fitting end, viewers. Saber is now a glider. One F-16 is out of fuel. I think Simba's... No, he's still got fuel. But he's got an F-16 on his butt and there is not a great deal you can do about that. Can and Simba... it's fire red. Can he find the weakness of that F-16? You mean like uh, 300 pounds of fuel? Or a 200 knot great fight? I do. F-14 can do these low speeds, I and mean, it's not easy, but it can. Maneuver flaps fully She's down. around the circle when she comes. Yeehaw! Here's this for Simber. Look at that F-16 struggle with its tiny little wings. I have tiny wings. And I'm angry. And red. No, it has no wings. Oh! oh between the friggin' bullets. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> All right. 
will let Simba have a moral victory. Last 17. Oh, interesting landing. You know what? What? Any Saber landing? Landed? Any you landing? Want none of this? Any landing you can walk away from, and apparently you can walk away from that. Well done, guys. I'm heading off now. I'll catch you all later.